Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Did you know, China has long been hailed internationally as that infrastructure maniac, not in a derogatory sense, but rather reflects the admiration of American engineers for China's infrastructure construction capabilities. As one of the world's largest developing countries, China has always been renowned for meeting its growing population's needs through large-scale engineering projects. Chinese engineers are like superheroes in the field of construction, dedicating themselves to building the massive projects that awe the world. In this video, we will continue to explore the stories behind China's mega engineering projects. Before we begin, we sincerely ask you to subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so you don't miss out on our exciting past updates. We value your thoughts and welcome everyone to share your views on these remarkable engineering achievements in the comments section. In Beijing, China, Chinese workers rebuilt a flyover bridge in just 43 hours. In 2015, the San Yuan Bridge in Beijing underwent a heart-stirring rebirth. An unprecedented project to replace all beams catapulted this busy traffic artery to a historical pinnacle. In a mere 43 hours, at a seemingly magical pace, a brand new bridge emerged, rising from nothing, once again bursting with vitality. Many foreign netizens have praised the speed of construction in China. Some say that in their country, it would take at least five years, while others claim it would take the term of a president to complete half of the project, leaving the other half to the next president. From this perspective, China's efficiency is truly remarkable. Meanwhile, a professor from the United States, upon hearing the news that China had completed the construction and opening of the bridge in just 43 hours, exclaimed in disbelief, completely unable to understand the construction efficiency of Chinese engineering. China has actually soared. This meteoric, uh, former Czech president, Václav Havel, I think, put it best. He said, all this has happened so fast, we haven't yet had time to be astonished. To remind myself, how astonished I should be. I occasionally look out the window in my office in Cambridge at this bridge which goes across the Charles River between the Kennedy School and Harvard Business School. In 2012, the state of Massachusetts said they were going to renovate this bridge. It would take two years. In 2014, they said it wasn't finished. Uh, in 2015, they said it would take one more year. In 2015, they said it's not finished. We're not going to tell you when it's going to be finished. Finally, last year it was finished three times over budget. Now, compare this to a similar bridge that I drove across last month in Beijing. It's called the Senyan Bridge. In 2015, the Chinese decided they wanted to renovate that bridge. It actually has twice as many lanes of traffic. How long did it take for them to complete the project? 2015, what do you bet? Take a guess. Okay. Take a look. The answer is 43 hours. Now, of course, that couldn't happen in New York. Yes. <laughs> As the first vehicles slowly drove across the new bridge, enthusiastic applause and cheers erupted at the scene. At this moment, 
All the hard work paid off, and all the efforts turned into this brand new bridge. It is not only a bridge connecting roads, but also a bridge connecting hearts, witnessing the glorious achievements of Beijing's urban construction. In the southeastern coast of China, a grand project is in full swing. Over 20,000 builders, sweating profusely, meticulously planning, or working meticulously, have jointly created a marvel that attracts the world's attention, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. This bridge, stretching 55 kilometers, spans the turbulent sea, connecting Hong Kong, Zhuhai, and Macau, and has become the world's longest sea-crossing bridge. This bridge is not just a bridge, but also a pinnacle of national engineering technology and a crystallization of national wisdom. It stands on the southeastern coast like a rainbow spanning the sky, connecting people's hearts and dreams. Every nightfall, the lights on the bridge flicker like a giant dragon winding above the sea, illuminating the darkness and lighting the way forward. During the construction of this bridge, the builders overcame countless difficulties and challenges. Facing the complex marine environment, they continuously innovated and broke through technically, eventually completing this great project. With their sweat and wisdom, they have written an immortal legend and set a new benchmark for China's engineering technology. Today, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge has become a calling card for China, attracting countless domestic and foreign tourists to visit. Standing on the bridge, overlooking the turbulent sea, they feel the shock and pride brought by the bridge. This bridge is not just a bridge, but also a bridge connecting people's hearts. It brings Hong Kong, Zhuhai, and Macau closer together, jointly scripting a new chapter in history. In Wulong, Chongqing, the Chongqing Huaihua Railway wins its way, with the mountain towering hundreds of meters above seeming like a massive scroll, tightly wrapped in scaffolding. Here, a struggle between man and nature is unfolding, a symphony of fearlessness and resilience. Countless builders, dressed in safety gear and helmets, move deftly on the vertical cliffs like rock climbing masters. Their tools, like brushes, outline exquisite patterns on the cliffs. These are protective facilities added to the dangerous rock mass, acting as sturdy shields, guarding the mountain and the safety of passing trains. Below is a bottomless abyss, like an impassable chasm, evoking fear. The roaring wind rushes past, sometimes gentle, sometimes violent, like nature's roar, impossible to ignore. However, these builders show no fear. With extraordinary courage and unwavering belief, they work for five or six hours suspended, battling the cliffs, the winds, and the dangers. Their figures appear particularly tall in the twilight. Their sweat leaves deep marks on the cliffs. Their dedication brings endless peace and hope to this land. They are the most lovable people in this land and the most beautiful scenery of this era. Here, there are no gorgeous words, no exaggerated embellishments, only genuine emotions and deep respect for the laborers. Let us salute these silently dedicated builders and applaud their courage and resilience. Similarly, in Wuhan, China, in the quiet of the early morning, an extraordinary engineering miracle quietly unfolds. Six sturdy and massive high-speed overpasses, each weighing an average of 200 tons, are accurately dismantled and cleared in less than five hours. This magnificent achievement not only demonstrates the excellence of human engineering technology but also highlights the efficiency and excellence of modern urban construction. From closed construction to reopening to traffic, the entire process is like magic. Under the cover of night, engineers use precision mechanical equipment to silently begin this race against time. Like dancers, they manipulate every dismantling process flexibly and precisely, ensuring that each bridge is safely dismantled in the shortest time possible. When the first rays of sunlight reach the earth, the dismantling of the six overpasses is successfully completed. The highway reopens, traffic flows smoothly. Many drivers driving on this familiar road are surprised to find that the six bridges they once knew are now gone without a trace. They are amazed at this silent engineering miracle and deeply admire the wisdom and efficiency of the city builders. This feat not only demonstrates the efficiency and excellence of urban construction but also showcases the infinite possibilities of human engineering technology. In the future, we look forward to more engineering miracles shining on this land.
injecting continuous vitality and hope into the development of human society. China's bridge construction offers valuable lessons to the international community and inspires other nations to strive for excellence in infrastructure development. Chinese engineers continue to push boundaries, constructing large transportation bridges, especially high-speed railway bridges. These bridges are integral to China's extensive railway network, enabling fast and efficient transportation. It's worth noting that many of the world's most challenging and record-breaking bridges have been proudly built by Chinese engineers. The commitment to infrastructure development in this country has created miracles that impact the lives of over a billion Chinese citizens and drive economic growth. These examples clearly illustrate China's impressive achievements in bridge construction in recent years, garnering global attention and setting a positive example. What you're seeing now is the Huajiang Gorge Bridge under construction in China, a structure so spectacular it takes your breath away. Once completed, it will set a new world record, proudly becoming the highest bridge in the world. From any angle, the bridge appears grand and magnificent. Workers toiling under the scorching sun at dizzying heights create a scene that leaves you breathless, almost feeling the terrifying abyss beneath their feet. This bridge is located at the border of Anshuan City and Kiangsinan Prefecture in Guizhou, spanning a rugged mountain gorge. The total length of the bridge is 2,890 meters, with the main bridge deck towering 625 meters above the valley floor, equivalent to the height of over 200 floors. It surpasses the current highest bridge in the world, the Beipanjiang Bridge, by 60 meters. Even more astonishing, the main cables of the bridge weigh 9,331 tons each, composed of 217 strands, each 2,378 meters long and weighing about 43.4 tons. Each strand is made up of 91 wires of 5.7 millimeters galvanized aluminum magnesium steel with a total length of 93,000 kilometers, enough to circle the equator more than twice. Once completed, this bridge will not only establish its position as the highest in the world, but also serve as a milestone in mountain bridge engineering, destined to become a monumental achievement in the history of Chinese bridge construction. This is the Zhangjiang Bridge, a monumental structure rising amid the majestic landscapes of the Wulong Mountain National Geopark, spanning the breathtaking Zhangka River. The bridge is 1,849 meters long, with a main span of 1,080 meters, making it the 11th highest bridge in the world with a distance of 380 meters from the deck to the river below. Construction workers, with incredible perseverance and skill, have lifted 73 steel beams piece by piece to heights of over 300 meters, with the total weight of the beam segments exceeding 16,000 tons, and the heaviest piece weighing 231.3 tons. The bridge is expected to be completed by July 2025, at which time the travel time between the two banks will be reduced from an hour to just one minute. This is not just an engineering marvel, but a bridge that connects the hearts of people on both sides. Now, let's revisit this engineering wonder that has captivated the world. The construction journey of the bridge began on March 6, 2021, with the foundation work on Tower 5. Subsequently, the construction of the gravity anchor on June 8, 2021, and the pier columns on October 20, 2021, laid the foundation for the bridge's stability. 
the successful completion of the beam construction on May 4, 2022, further strengthened the bridge's structure. On December 29, 2022, the topping out of Tower 5 marked a new milestone in the bridge's construction. The erection of the catwalk on May 4, 2023, provided a safe working environment for the construction crew. Following that, on June 25, 2023, the simultaneous installation of the main cables and the pushing construction of the steel beams on the Qinglong Bank highlighted the efficiency of the bridge's construction. The first segment of the main bridge truss was lifted on September 18, 2023, taking the bridge's construction to new heights. From September 2023 to April 2024, the continuous lifting of the standard truss sections of the main bridge ensured the smooth progress of the construction. Finally, on April 28, 2024, the lifting of the closing segment of the steel truss was completed, marking the successful completion of the bridge's main structure. What you're now seeing is the Yanjiao Yangtze River Bridge under construction, a miracle that transcends time and space, and the world's largest spanned four main cable suspension bridge. It not only represents the pinnacle of engineering, but also symbolizes the ingenuity of humanity. As the world's first four main cable dual layer steel truss suspension bridge with varying sag, it stretches an impressive 26 kilometers across the Yangtze River, with a main span of 1,860 meters turning a natural barrier into a thoroughfare. The upper level is a highway where cars speed at 100 kilometers per hour, while the lower level is an urban expressway allowing for a smooth commute at 80 kilometers per hour. On this bridge, speed and passion coexist, and dreams blend with reality. The 184-meter-tall main tower, constrained by aviation height limits, challenges the extremes of engineering. The tower walls are 4 meters thick, twice the thickness of a typical Yangtze River bridge tower. This not only tests the limits of materials and design, but is also a testament to the boundless creativity of humanity. The Yanjiao Yangtze River Bridge is not just a bridge, it is a link between the past and the future, an immortal monument to humanity's conquest of nature. When you think of the world's most famous bridges, images of San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge, St. Petersburg's Sunshine Skyway Bridge, and London's Tower Bridge might come to mind. However, countless other massive bridges surpass these in scale, innovation, and ambition, many of which are in China, an Asian superpower renowned for large-scale engineering. What makes these bridges iconic and record-breaking structures? How much does it cost to build these gigantic bridges? How do they connect people and impact China's economy? In this video, we'll take you on a tour of China's most iconic and breathtaking engineering marvels that leave American engineers in awe. We'll also show you the numerous innovations that made these grand projects possible in record time. 
Additionally, you'll learn about the actual costs of constructing these bridges. Bridges are structures that help us cross valleys, bodies of water, and rugged terrains. Since ancient civilizations, humans have been building bridges using simple, readily available materials like stone, wood, and mud. However, as our knowledge of materials and structures grew, we invented mortar to build stronger, more powerful, and more flexible bridges. In fact, ancient Roman engineers ground volcanic rock to use as material for making mortar. As bridge engineering evolved, the Romans discovered ways to use arches in construction, enabling bridges to bear double the weight. They also built aqueducts that reached astonishing heights. Using this discovery, the Romans constructed cheaper, stronger, and faster bridges that spanned rivers, facilitating transportation for city dwellers. The Arcadian Bridge in the Peloponnese of Greece is said to be the oldest surviving arch bridge, once serving as a military road between two cities and capable of bearing the weight of chariots. Built between 1300 and 1190 BCE from meticulously arranged stones, this bridge remains intact and passable to this day. Fast forward to modern times, and you will see a variety of materials used in bridge construction, such as concrete, iron, and steel cables, allowing bridges to span unimaginable lengths. Today, we have various types of bridges, including suspension bridges, cable-stayed bridges, and underwater tunnels, things ancient engineers couldn't have imagined. Undoubtedly, the United States has some of the world's most impressive architectural feats, including bridges that span oceans, lands, and rugged terrains, setting records and showcasing the growth of the U.S. materials and infrastructure research industry. However, recently, China seems to have stolen the spotlight. Infrastructure investment is a key priority for China, making it the go-to infrastructure partner in developing African countries. Besides bridges, China excels at creating engineering marvels, from the ancient Great Wall to the Donghai Bridge in Shanghai and the uniquely designed CCTV headquarters in Beijing. Although designed by Dutch architect Rem Koolhaas, the unique ring structure of the CCTV building connects horizontal and vertical sections in a continuous loop. This building, costing $735 million, stands as one of Beijing's iconic structures. Other magnificent Chinese buildings and engineering projects include Beijing Daxing International Airport, designed by Zaha Hadid, with its streamlined design, natural light, and arched roofs. As China prepares to surpass the U.S. as the world's largest aviation market, Beijing Daxing Airport stands as a symbolic gateway. Another iconic project showcasing China's engineering prowess is the Liang Museum in Jiangsu Province, which integrates local culture with modern structural methods to create an organic building. The Harbin Opera House, opened in 2015, appears to be sculpted by wind and water, designed to house the city's 100-year-old symphony orchestra and featuring two theaters accommodating up to 2,000 people. The exterior is iconic white, echoing the spirit of the northern cold climate, with an asymmetric design that impresses with its curves, use of materials, and integration with the surroundings. Beginning with the Deng Xiaoping era in the late 1970s, China has invested heavily in highways, railways, ports, airports, communication, and energy systems, driving rapid industrialization, urbanization, and economic growth in the 1980s and 1990s. China has invested billions domestically and internationally, enabling it to establish connections with neighboring allies and spur national economic growth. This drive has allowed China, with its 1.4 billion population, to invest in complex engineering marvels that astonish the world. The first Chinese megabridge we study is the Qishui River Bridge. This bridge, towering 350 meters, spans the Qishui River and is a double tower, single-span steel girder suspension bridge connecting the highways of Jiangxi in Guizhou and Sichuan. Estimated to cost over $250 million, the construction process was extremely challenging, with a total length of 2,009 meters. The Qishui River Bridge uses a tunnel anchoring system on the Sichuan side and a gravity anchoring system on the Guizhou side. 
making it the highest mountain bridge tower and the second longest span suspension bridge in the world. Due to the harsh mountainous conditions, heavy equipment couldn't be used, so the team had to build the main bridge deck off-site and then transport it to the location. The main bridge deck is fixed with 158 cables, ensuring it withstands wind and other load factors. Despite the extreme construction conditions, the Chishui River Bridge was completed 19 months ahead of schedule and saved over $2 million on the budget. The designers significantly reduced overall costs by reducing the bridge tower foundation by 30% and related earthworks, showcasing China's leading position in optimizing processes, resource allocation, and material innovation. Next, we introduce the Hezhang Bridge, located in northwest Guizhou Province. This bridge, with a central pile 195 meters high from the base camp, is the fourth highest bridge in the world, second only to the Millau Viaduct in France and the San Marcos Bridge in Mexico. Next, we introduce the Wufengshan Yangtze River Bridge, the world's first high-speed railway suspension bridge. This double-deck suspension bridge supports a high-speed railway and the Yangtze River Highway, with a total length of 6,409 meters and a main span of 1,992 meters, sharing the record for the world's longest high-speed railway bridge with the Hudong Yangtze River Bridge, also in China. The Chinese government initiated this project in the 1960s to provide ultra-fast and ultra-efficient transportation. However, construction technology at that time was not mature. Nevertheless, construction began in 2015, and it opened to traffic in December 2020. This high-speed railway reduces travel time between Shanghai and Lianyungang from 11 hours to 3 hours, making it one of the most efficient high-speed railways in the world. This is China's first suspension bridge combining railways and highways, revolutionizing the possibilities of bridge engineering. To achieve this, engineers used a new type of steel truss girder and adopted a full penetration welding method to connect the U-shaped girders and the upper bridge deck. The upper deck of the Wufengshan Yangtze River Bridge has eight lanes, and the lower deck has four lanes of railway, with speeds up to 155 km per hour. The bridge, designed by the China Railway Major Bridge Reconnaissance and Design Institute, is the highest load, longest span, and fastest bridge of its kind. The bridge is equipped with dampers and cables to reduce wind-induced deformation, the anchoring system of the bridge is one of the largest ever built, with each main cable containing about 352 steel wires, with a total diameter of 51 inches. This bridge demonstrates Chinese engineers' ability to continuously break records. Another stunning bridge is the Lzijiang Bridge, located in the treacherous mountainous area of Yunnan Province. The Lzijiang Bridge is the world's first single span, single tower suspension bridge, which opened in April 2022. This bridge spans 798 meters, and despite being in a remote province of China, the government still built an engineering marvel that defies gravity. This bridge is supported by a tower on one side and anchored by cables at both ends, making for a spectacular sight. The bridge has received praise for providing a scenic travel experience. This two-lane bridge plays an important role in maximizing tourism and economic growth. These are just some examples, China has many similar engineering marvels. Undeniably, China continuously pushes the boundaries of engineering, building breathtaking infrastructure in the most challenging terrains. The Chinese bridge engineering we see today not only showcases its technological innovation, design, and construction efficiency but also demonstrates its economic and social benefits. These bridges connect cities and communities, promoting economic development and improving people's lives. On the vast edge of the boundless Sahara Desert, the Nile River meanders from south to north like a lifeline, nourishing countless lives and civilizations along its banks. Egypt, this ancient and mysterious land, has always been closely connected to the Nile. Its prosperity and hope are derived from this sacred river. However, as time progresses, the surging population demands ever-increasing water resources, and the Nile can no longer satisfy the growing needs of this land. Thus, on this ancient yet vibrant land, 
an unprecedented feat quietly unfolds. Egypt is dedicating itself to creating a grand artificial canal parallel to the Nile. This endeavor is not only a profound tribute to nature but also a courageous exploration and promise for the future. From the initial concept to detailed planning, every step embodies wisdom and hard work. Engineers work tirelessly, employing cutting-edge technology to comprehensively analyze terrain, water sources, and environmental factors, meticulously drafting the blueprint for this artificial canal. It aims not only to solve the current water shortage but also to balance ecological and sustainable development, ensuring this project becomes a bridge between the past and the future. As the first shovel of earth is turned, this grand project officially begins. Excavators and bulldozers roar, and workers sweat under the scorching sun, using their hands and machines to carve out this waterway to the future. Facing hard rocks, complex geological structures, and changing weather conditions, the builders, with their tenacious will and exquisite skills, overcome one challenge after another. Each day and night of struggle is a continuation and promotion of the spirit of the Nile. In the construction of this artificial canal, the power of technology is fully displayed. Intelligent monitoring systems constantly check water quality and flow, ensuring the canal's safe and efficient operation. Environmental protection technologies are widely applied to minimize environmental impact. Automation and mechanization greatly improve construction efficiency and shorten the construction period. All these efforts aim to make this canal a model of water conservancy projects for Egypt and the world. While pursuing economic benefits, the Egyptian government and builders never forget the protection of the ecological environment. They have carefully designed green belts around the canal, planting many drought-resistant plants, which beautify the environment and help prevent wind erosion and conserve water. Additionally, a comprehensive water resource management system has been established to ensure the rational use and protection of the canal's water resources, achieving harmonious coexistence between humans and nature. As the artificial canal gradually takes shape, it will become a beautiful landscape in Egypt and even across the African continent. It will provide precious water to new lands, promoting the development of agriculture, industry, and cities, and opening a new chapter for Egypt and the entire region. This canal will become a link between the past and the future, carrying the Egyptian people's aspirations in pursuit of a better life, witnessing the birth of one miracle after another. This artificial canal beside the Nile is not only a triumph of engineering but also a perfect combination of human wisdom and natural power. It makes us believe that as long as we dream, dare to explore, and strive persistently, nothing is impossible. Apart from Egypt, China is also constructing the world's longest artificial canal, the Pinglu Canal. Unfolding quietly across the vast Chinese land is an unprecedented feat, the Pinglu Canal, which is hailed as the water great wall of China's new era. With its unique grandeur and determination, this artificial canal showcases the excellence and brilliance of Chinese engineering to the world. The Pinglu Canal is a magnificent waterway connecting the mainstream of the Xijiang River with the Bibu Gulf. It stretches slowly from the Pingtang Estuary in the Xijin Reservoir area of Hangzhou, Nanning, in Guangxi, crosses the beautiful mountains and rivers of Lingshan County, Qinzhou, and finally merges into the vast Bibu Gulf. This is not merely the construction of a canal but a heartfelt response to the Chinese nation's millennial-old dream of connecting rivers and seas and pursuing maritime strength. Entering the construction site of the Pinglu Canal, one is greeted with scenes of awe-inspiring work. Thousands of workers are toiling tirelessly, and large machinery roars continuously. They carve mountains, dredge river channels, and every inch of land bears witness to their hard work and ingenuity. Here. Time seems to be empowered, with each day witnessing the miraculous growth of the canal.
construction of the Pinglu Canal is a concentrated display of China's engineering and technological prowess. From high-precision surveying to intelligent construction, from eco-friendly dredging to ecological restoration technologies, a series of high-tech methods are being employed, not only improving construction efficiency but also ensuring the project's green sustainability. The use of heavy-duty self-propelled cutter suction dredgers, such as the Tianjing, in the estuary section has propelled China's dredging technology to the forefront of the world. Dao Junction, Qishir Junction, Qingyan Junction. These keynote projects along the canal are like dazzling pearls embedded in the grand blueprint of the Pinglu Canal. Workers battle day and night at these nodes, erecting steel bars and pouring concrete, forging one engineering marvel after another with their sweat and wisdom. The completion of these node projects will not only greatly enhance the canal's navigability but also serve as indelible monuments on the Pinglu Canal. The completion of the Pinglu Canal will open the shortest, most economical, and most convenient sea route for southwest China. At that time, goods from the southwest region will be able to reach the Bibu Gulf directly via this canal and then make their way to the world. This will significantly boost the competitiveness and openness of the regional economy and inject new strong momentum into the development of cities along the route. The future Pinglu Canal is destined to become a new symbol of China's maritime strength and open development. On this land filled with hope, the Pinglu Canal tells a story of dreams, courage, and wisdom in its unique way. Let us look forward to the early navigation of this artificial canal and witness the infinite possibilities it will bring to China and the world. China is reshaping the architectural landscape with colossal projects that are set to astonish engineers worldwide. Imagine massive dams generating record-breaking power, tunnels carved through challenging terrains, and bridges that make you feel like you're walking in the sky. These projects are not only enormous in scale, but also executed with incredible speed. China is building extensive highways, transoceanic bridges, and sleek high-speed rail lines at an astounding pace. Advanced technology, cutting-edge construction methods, and unwavering determination drive this relentless progress. Some may be shocked by such rapid development and the ambition to turn blueprints into reality, but how is China achieving this? What secrets lie behind these engineering marvels? Let's delve into the wisdom that shapes some of China's most audacious megaprojects. China undertook an epic maritime challenge by designing and constructing the world's longest sea bridge, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. Spanning 55 kilometers across the Pearl River Delta, this megaproject is not just about convenience, it is a critical component of China's ambitious plan to transform the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area, encompassing 11 cities, into an economic powerhouse. Here, engineering ingenuity meets ambition. This is not just a simple bridge construction. Consider the busy shipping traffic, the fury of typhoons, and the fragile marine ecosystem, especially the habitat of the famous Chinese white dolphins. The solution was a complex engineering feat combining bridge, tunnel, and artificial islands. Let's focus on the main bridge, a 29.6-kilometer marvel in itself. To minimize disruption and protect the dolphin habitats, engineers chose slender single-column piers anchored deeply into the seabed, elevating above. 
three unique sail-shaped towers support the massive bridge deck, serving as both an engineering achievement and an aesthetic statement. Regarding the artificial islands, they are not just piles of sand, but meticulously designed structures crucial to the bridge's functionality, seamlessly transitioning traffic from the vast bridge to a six-kilometer underwater tunnel. Imagine them as massive maritime transportation hubs. Speaking of the underwater tunnel, this project constructed one of the most complex tunnels ever, composed of 33 gigantic concrete segments, each weighing 880,000 tons, carefully placed to form an enormous underwater highway, a testament to the precision and power of Chinese marine engineering. So, how did Chinese engineers construct this 6.7 kilometers long underwater tunnel 40 meters below sea level? The first method engineers thought of was using a tunnel boring machine. However, since the TBM requires high geological stability, the tunnel depth achieved by the TBM was far greater than the design requirements. Consequently, engineers had to seek other methods to build this underwater tunnel. After a series of discussions, the engineers decided to use immersed tube tunnel technology. This technology involves shallow trench excavation on the seabed, placing prefabricated tunnel sections into the trench, and then underwater connecting them. Finally, the tunnel is surrounded by cement. Each immersed tube is 180 meters long, consisting of two three-lane roadways and two service passages, with a weight of 76,000 tons, equivalent to an aircraft carrier. These immersed tubes need to be sequentially placed from the west artificial island to the east artificial island, and then seamlessly connected. However, manufacturing a 180-meter-long, 76,000-ton reinforced concrete tunnel is nearly impossible. Therefore, the engineers divided the 180-meter-long tunnel into eight sections, which were then assembled into a hole after being manufactured in a factory. Building these immersed tubes required 330,000 tons of steel and 2 million tons of concrete, enough to build eight Burj Khalifa towers of 828 meters high. On the uninhabited Nyoto Island, over 3,000 workers are working intensively. They built a super factory here in 100 days, and the sole task of this factory is to produce 33 immersed tunnel sections, with a capacity to produce 276,000 ton immersed tubes per month. After more than 1,400 days of effort, all the immersed tubes have been installed, and what we now see is the E30 immersed tube, which is the final section to be connected. Once the E30 immersed tube reaches the designated position, cables slowly lowered the tube to the seabed. During the lowering process, workers closely monitor various data. After 26 hours of effort, the tube is finally placed in the designated position. Divers then enter the water to carry out precise measurements at multiple positions of the immersed tube, ultimately confirming that the installation accuracy of the tube fully meets the design requirements. This 6.7 kilometers underwater tunnel is a historic underwater crossing by Chinese engineers. Let's not forget the logistics behind this mega project. Coordinating vast construction teams, specialized machinery, and transporting building materials on land and sea over nine years, a ballet of planning and problem solving. The end result? A ferry journey that once took hours is now a mere 40 minute drive, significantly boosting trade, tourism, and symbolically linking major cities into a future regional superpower. The Baiheaton Hydropower Station is another testament to China's clean energy ambitions, a mega-project redefining our understanding of renewable energy. This gigantic power plant, with an installed capacity of 16,000 megawatts, generates over 620 billion kilowatt-hours of electricity annually. But the real story lies in the engineering marvel behind its construction. Let's start with the core, the turbines. By Heaton houses 16 massive 1,000 megawatt turbine generator units, the largest ever built. Transporting and installing these enormous units was a unique challenge, as conventional transportation methods were clearly insufficient. Transporting and assembling such massive components in rugged terrain was an engineering feat. Building the dam itself was no easy task, spanning the Jinsha River with a colossal structure 660 meters across. 
First, to ensure safety during construction, engineers built a series of temporary cofferdams to temporarily block the river, creating a relatively dry working environment. This not only facilitated construction but also significantly reduced risks and delays. Next came the arduous task of foundation excavation and pouring vast amounts of concrete. The dam stands taller than the Three Gorges Dam, posing more challenges in maintaining stability. A special cooling system ensured the concrete cured properly in the tropical climate. Another critical task was the flood discharge system, which not only had to manage floods effectively but also withstand enormous water pressure during flood seasons. Thus, a complex flood discharge system was installed, a series of massive openings and tunnels designed to release excess water quickly and safely. The Byheaton Hydropower Station is not just a power plant but a breathtaking testament to human capability to tame and harness natural forces. Its massive scale, innovative design, and incredible construction achievements make it a legend in the engineering world. Get ready for a thrilling adventure on China's Siju Bridge. This bridge is a dream come true for the residents of Siju Village, who long for a connection to the outside world. Located in an area prone to earthquakes and landslides, it had to be built to withstand these natural disasters. Engineers even launched the first cable across the valley with a rocket, a bold move that paid off. Today, the Siju Bridge stands 1,600 feet above the ground, offering breathtaking views and standing as a testament to human ingenuity. Finally, let's introduce China's epic transoceanic bridge, the Jiaozhou Bay Bridge. Supported by 5,200 piers and using 450,000 tons of steel, this bridge can withstand an 8.0 magnitude earthquake. This project shortened the distance between Qingdao and Huangdao by about 30 kilometers, reducing travel time by 20 to 30 minutes compared to the highway along the bay. The bridge is designed to withstand severe earthquakes, storms, and ship collisions. Its construction process took about four years and cost $2.5 billion, a massive figure. Upon completion, the bridge earned the title of the world's longest sea bridge. The previous record holder was the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway in Louisiana, USA, spanning 38.44 kilometers. The Jiaozhou Bay Bridge is renowned not only for its length but also for its stunning and semi-natural beauty, unparalleled globally. Though built over the sea, it has interchanges up to three stories high, comparable to those on land. Did you know? Building such interchanges on land is already challenging, let alone over the sea. This demonstrates the advanced level and development of China's bridge construction technology. This bridge holds significant importance not only in terms of transportation and economy but also attracts millions of tourists annually due to its unique design. Official estimates show that about 30,000 vehicles pass through the Jiaozhou Bay Bridge daily. Many tourists flock from around the world to witness the most beautiful transoceanic bridge. Many have spent an entire day driving on the sea just to enjoy the scenery. Driving on the transoceanic bridge for a long time is truly a wonderful experience. If you have the chance to visit China, make sure to see this bridge and enjoy the beautiful scenery. Building such a long and beautiful transoceanic bridge is no easy feat, but modern machines and advanced technologies were employed in the construction process. The development of China's bridge construction technology has now made significant leaps, building numerous large bridges with innovative structural designs and construction techniques, using highly complex materials and high-tech processes. Now, let's take a look at how Chinese engineers built these world record bridges. With the most advanced construction technologies, the speed and scale of new bridge constructions continue to increase. Statistics show that by 2024, China has built 1.033 million bridges, among which 8,816 are world-class large bridges. This figure reflects China's remarkable achievements in bridge construction and its world-leading position in engineering technology. These statistics not only demonstrate the scale of China's bridge construction but also showcase the nation's strong capability in continuous progress in infrastructure development. Chinese engineers emphasize that these bridges are pathways to prosperity, which is why bridges connecting economic zones are given priority. 
Undoubtedly, these incredible engineering projects in China are not just a testament to one nation's technology and ambition, they challenge the limits of global engineering, showcasing wisdom, innovation, and an unwavering pursuit of excellence. China's bridges and dams are the shining jewels of Chinese engineering technology, as well as the crystallization of the wisdom of the Chinese people. They witness the brilliant achievements of China's engineering construction and showcase the charm of Chinese engineering technology to the world. In the future, we have every reason to believe that China will continue to create more miracles in the field of bridge and dam construction. China, a nation of resilience and determination, has always commanded utmost respect. Its hard-working people embody the essence of perseverance and dedication. Despite facing numerous challenges and enduring profound pain, they never cease to strive for greatness. China's indomitable spirit is a testament to their unwavering commitment to excellence. In times of adversity, China's unwavering understanding of humanity shines bright. Their profound philosophical insights encapsulate the essence of compassion, empathy, and unity. China's philosophy of life is a boundless source of wisdom, guiding individuals towards a deeper understanding of the human experience. China, with its rich history and cultural heritage, has left an indelible mark on the world. The achievements of its people and their relentless pursuit of progress inspire admiration and awe. Their unwavering determination to make China the best resonates with the hearts of millions. China's contributions to humanity are truly remarkable. From revolutionary advancements in technology and science to promoting peace and harmony in a rapidly changing world, China has proven to be a guiding light for humankind. The values ingrained in the Chinese culture, such as respect, integrity, and honor, serve as a beacon of inspiration for people around the world. Let us celebrate China, a nation that continues to grow and prosper against all odds. Let us cherish their commitment to humanity and their tireless efforts to uplift their nation and the world. China's unwavering spirit and deep understanding of humanity elevate them to a position of admiration and respect. May China continue to shine bright, leading the way towards a better and more compassionate future for all. The journey through China's mega-projects is one of awe and inspiration a testament to human ingenuity, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of progress. Each of China's major projects showcases the remarkable feats that can be achieved when vision, technology, and sheer determination come together. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. We would love to hear your thoughts and insights in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with more fascinating content. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Let's continue to explore, learn, and inspire together. Take care and goodbye.